Here is a quick video on how to measure the axial and the radial runout of a motorcycle wheel. The axial runout is measuring the deflection of the wheel in this direction parallel to the direction of the axle and radial runout is measuring the deflection of the wheel perpendicular to the axle. Now, two things that you need to do this are a balancing stand that we have here, as well as a dial gauge. And the key is to having the wheel set up on the balancing stand such that this part of the uh, balancing stand, the shaft that the wheel rotates on, can't move this way and that way. So you can use one of the collars to press it up against the bearing here, not too hard, but enough so that the wheel won't move back and forth on both sides of the wheel. So now we have the dial gauge set up to measure the axial runout, and you'll want to adjust the dial gauge with the stand and the mounting hardware so that the shaft of the dial gauge is as parallel as possible to the axle. You mark a spot on the wheel as we did here with some chalk. There's a, should be a way to spin the dial on the dial gauge to adjust the needle to point to zero. And once you have that set up, just start spinning the wheel slowly. What you'll want to do is make a mental note of how far the needle swings either way relative to zero, do the math, and then that will give you your total run out in thousands of an inch. So we just slowly spin the wheel. Bring it back to zero. And then we can calculate what the axial run out is. At this point, what you'll want to do is flip the wheel and do the exact same measurement on the other side. Now to measure the radial run out, we're going to use a slightly different tool just because you need to measure the deflection of this surface. And if you want to measure it on the inside, you obviously can't get your dial gauge in here and have it perpendicular to this surface here. So there's a different kind of gauge that has a, uh, a sensor that instead of a, being a piston, it moves this way with the deflection of the surface. So we'll give this one a try. Um, you could also set up your dial gauge on to, to measure the opposite side of this surface on this side of the wheel. So for this, it's the same basic principle. You mark your wheel with a piece of chalk and then you slowly rotate. In this case, we can't see the face of the dial because of the angle of the camera on the tripod, but when you rotate it, it will measure the deflection on that particular surface, and then you will have measured both the axial and the radial run out of your wheel. So here I've set the dial gauge up to measure the radial run out on the outside of the wheel to show you how we could do that as well. So it's basically the same exact methodology. It's simply just a different angle at which we're measuring the deflection of the wheel. I hope this helps.